basically said, in terrible condition, needing full restoration. You have a problem. I do. Oh, it's got a little it's bit of oil. A little bit. <laughs> got it. Just everything. The top, the seats, the interior, everything. No, why you guys keep buying Fast and Furious cars? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Just Driven, and thanks for tuning into this video. Real quick, before we get started, I know a lot of you guys are new here, and we really appreciate the subscribership. Thanks for that. Please keep it coming. For those of you who don't recognize what this is, it's actually a 2005 Honda S2000. It's such a little. Look how little it is. I. <laughs> it's so, it's these, so small. These cars are amazing. The chassis design is amazing. Yeah. You know, Honda put a lot of work into it. There was a predecessor to that. S2000, right? Wasn't the S500? S600. S600. Yeah. See that? S600. I don't know anything Back in about the 70s. cars. Yeah. Oh, the right. Yeah. yeah, right, right. The yeah. three-cylinder car. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. So that was like a chain drive, right? Yep. Yep. Crazy. You drive to like 11,000. Crazy, RPM. right? Well, it was a motorcycle. Yeah, engine. basically. This car, it has seen better days. This car came to us a little over a year ago. You've heard me say this before. I have no business being on eBay, and this is essentially one of those cars that was on eBay, no reserve. It had a really interesting description. It was literally about three lines, and it basically said, in terrible condition, needing full restoration, and after a few communications back and forth with the owner, it was a situation where wife ran it out of oil. It's only got 90,000 miles on it. Ended up getting parked under their carport. They weren't sure what to do with it, and it sat. And it sat. I mean, God, what, three, four years, I think, is it? Yeah. What, the tags are 2015, thing. and it sat before then. Yeah, right. So you got to figure, what, seven years total. At least. Yeah. Because we're in 2022 now. Yeah. Yeah, so, so I literally mm. have not seen this car until today. After we won it on the auction, it literally got transported to one of our backyards and it just got a cover put on it and we just pulled it out because we're trying to decide what to do with it. You have a problem. I do. Because <laughs> today's the first day you said you saw this car, but okay. you bought it 13 months years ago. ago. Okay, so a year ago. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't that set an alarm off in your head? Like, okay, I have a problem. <laughs> I need to go I have lots of eBay problems. Anonymous or, or eBay. you know. I have a lot. <laughs> EA. Yeah. Well, you know why I bought this? You own one of these. I know. You owned one of these. Yeah. Dan, our editor, Still he has one. He, he has one. one. He has a beautiful Sweet. one. Oh, wait. Yeah. And, you know, we all love the S2000. And I kind of wanted to dip my toe in the water. And I thought, well, let's start with one that we could build however we want. With that being said, we can make it into a boat. <laughs> we a boat. we are we are <laughs> no. going down a very interesting path. The last I don't know how long we've we been working with Craig on the collaboration on the Supra. Mm -hmm. So we started with the mm -hmm. Supra, and of course, you know, because of my haircut, I thought it would be really <laughs> cool to own a black Charger. So we have that build going on the Toretto Charger, and then of course, you know, a Lightning popped up on on Craigslist. I always wanted a Lightning. And <laughs> <laughs> it just made sense, right? And we needed a new shop truck, so we got the Lightning, and then of course the Eclipse kind of fell into our laps because of the charity that we contract with to, to raise money. That was a donation. pure, pure yeah. chance that car so, came along. You know, we're cleaning out some of our yards and this little guy under the cover, which we kind of all forgot about, we started having the discussion about what direction to go in with this car. 
What do you guys want to do? I don't think there's any rescuing this car, in Why? my opinion. Really? So, as a street I, car. Yeah. Wait, why I just, say, I just, I think it's too far gone. I think it needs everything. You know, the car's straight. It's never been wrecked, right? I know. It's got a little you. bit the of a massage in the back. Assume it needs everything. Yeah. The the listing said assume it needs everything. So right. it needs everything, right? It needs to be completely disassembled, completely stripped, completely put back together. The engine needs to be disassembled. The gear pro box probably as well. Probably hasn't. You think so? Nine first miles? time. It yeah, but it's been sitting for seven years, and then. I mean, we don't know. It overheated, right? right? We don't know if it was from coolant or oil. Right? You guys we haven't tried to start this. Has anyone up. tried to start this today? No, no, no one's we, ever tried to so start the motor. So we haven't even put power yeah. to the battery that's still in there. I would use everything that's here minus the dirt, you know? But I would go a pure grip build on it. I wouldn't touch the body. I would clean it up. I would do over fender. I would focus on suspension, aero, wheels. I'd do simple intake, exhaust, but I would gut it just everything the top the seats the interior everything i just want a shifter a steering wheel a racing bucket in there and engine noise and How often that's what would i would you, do i mean but the problem is is if we go in that direction it really turns it into a car you don't go to the grocery store in. no you you dude it's gonna have a hard top and a cage on it you take this thing out to the track I love the red and you trailer. get up on three wheels around the corner you know what I mean? That's what you do with this car. I love this color. I mean, I don't know, guys. And the dash has no cracks. I mean, it's got lots of cobwebs mm -hmm. and probably remnants of critters in here. The you could make age. you could make money on the parts that are salvageable on this car with my themed build, you know? Yeah. And That's so true. I see Vintags. I see Vintags everywhere I look. Yeah, we never counted Vintags. So, I mean, you got a Vintag on the quarter, you got a Vintag on the door. Guaranteed they're all there. Pop the yeah. Guaranteed. I mean, it, it looks all actually. original. Yeah, this one's here. Pop the hood. What Vintags tell us is the car has never been hit. Is it back there? All 10. All 10 Vintags. All 10 wow. matching Vintags. Yeah, my car, it had 9 out of 10. Front bumpers usually get... And this has it on the bumper? It has everything. On the trunk lid, on the rear oh, bumper. Yeah, look at that. Every tag is here. Vintag. I was only missing the front bumper Vintag. Well, it's, it's got a motor in it. Where's the dipstick? Pull it. Let's see what it looks like. I mean, it should look like nothing. I want to see if there's oil in it. Is there oil? It's got no oil in it. Oh, it's got a little it's bit of oil. a little bit. <laughs> so we're not completely sure what to do with this car. What do we do with it? Do we turn it, like what James says, turns it, turn it into a dedicated track car? Do we turn it, do we just restore it? You know, it's a 90,000 mile car. Is do that we, what you would want to do? Johnny well, to restore it? Because as soon as you saw it, you said, it? I forgot how cool these cars are. Well, I love this car, mm. but you know, again, you know, I would rather own a 90,000 mile car that's been parked in someone's garage and rarely driven. This is... And it being blue. Yeah, I love blue. Mm -hmm. Laguna Blue Pearl is my favorite with a red and black interior. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's that would sick. be gorgeous. We do have a motor sitting around that Alex was going to actually install in, a, in one of his drift cars yep. in his 350Z. Type so R crate motor. We have a brand new crate motor. We don't know how bad this motor is. We don't know if it's locked up. We haven't done any of that stuff yet. You guys out there, we're going to actually let you decide. I mean, are we crazy? We're going to let yes. you guys decide what we should do with it. You know, it, the motor's easy to rebuild, right? We just send it out? Yeah, we just need to make Literally. sure, we need to put a socket on the crank and see if it's stuck. If it's not, then it's probably salvageable. If it is, we need to see if it's just the crank that got damaged, mm -hmm. we could source a new crank and then it could all be refreshed and new. Well, you know what? Let's put it in second gear, pop the clutch and we'll push it forward. And if it, if it goes, whoa, 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 then we know the motor's not locked up. Yeah, if I mean, it locks the rear that tire. clutch is slipping. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Remember but, the Eclipse, we tried to push it in gear and it's still pushed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's wow. true. Wow. He's like, why is it so hard to push? I was like, I don't know. He's like, it's in gear, you idiot. I was like, oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is your opportunity to speak up. We have so many builds. We have lots of projects going on and we are always excited about a new project. Do we need to do another Fast and Furious car? No, but it would be kind of fun. I mean, it would be, and I. It's the, cool parts on it, and it it's looks all cool. All veil side, yeah. Hood, bumper, sides, rear, so wing. So let's let's talk mm -hmm. about that. We did a little research, right? We went online and we looked at the Johnny Trent, right? Trent, Trent, Johnny Trent. 
Can you no, tell I don't Tran. know all the... Tran. 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 Okay. Tran. 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 James Chen, Johnny Tran. Version of the S2000 and Suki's car. And we decided that they actually have the same body kits. We'll have to hit up Craig. I think they're <laughs> actually the same car. It looks... And they like, repainted it. Yeah. They yeah. used the pink car. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Because so, in Johnny Tran's car, it had a hard top. So you didn't really get much of a shot of the interior outside of when he comes back. True. Just different wings. I think different. I don't maybe stands because the sides of the wing look very similar. And that was a veil side tradition. Like that was their wing for the S2000. Craig would know. Yeah, Craig would know. Yeah. Let me just ask Craig real quick and see if he actually has. He probably won't answer his phone because it's Friday and it's 3.30. We're doing a video right now on the S2000, right? And we're talking about, do we turn it into a Fast and Furious car or do we actually, you know, just restore this thing? Is the veil side stuff and all the graphics available for this car if we turn it into a Fast and Furious car? Yeah, the veil side stuff is still available. You can get that. The graphics are all done by Modern Image. So for all, for the first Fast and Furious movie and the second Fast and Furious movie, all the graphics are still available. Same guy that did the, that's doing the Supra. Yep. Literally, he sent two people to Florida to put the graphics on those cars. Dang. Okay. Uh, are we crazy? Are you crazy? I don't, the, the wheels are going to be the hardest part as, as because those wheels are long gone. There are several different types that, that look close to it, but not exactly. You haven't seen this car yet, I don't think. No, why you guys keep buying Fast and Furious cars? And <laughs> Dude, we've had this car for over a year. It's been sitting at the yard with a cover over it. I mean, it's it's hideous. My advice to you would be to wrap it. And the reason for that is because these cars are climbing in value. And if you take it and turn it into a Fast and Furious car. Right. You know? Yeah, we were thinking about that too. We were thinking about, you know. But, Craig, what, what if we do either car, whether it's Suki's or Johnny Trans, and then. If we do the real veil side kit, the real stuff has value. And if we even go a little step further and do it kind of like a modern rendition and put an FK8 Type R motor in it, like update the car, not just leave it stock and just a kit and wheels. It, that sounds like a fantastic project. It really, really, really does. And it, it, you have to kind of pick which team you're on. Are you on Team Fast and Furious and you're going to build an actual replica? or you're gonna do just a tribute to make this thing what, what that car should have been. What most people don't know is that movie, that car did not actually have the supercharger until after the movie. Oh. So, was your, so was your garden variety S2000 with an exhaust and an air box. Was it the same car, by the way? Yes, it was. Okay, so they just repainted it for a second, okay. Yeah, and the paint job on that was a house of color, a pink, and then the airbrushing was done, hand done by a, a, an artist by the name of Noah, who charged us $11,000 per car. Oh, wow. <laughs> so there so there aren't graphics uh, for the pink car. No, there, no, there are. Oh. Shahar has a, has one of these cars. That's crazy. And the whole thing was done by, with a wrap. You want to see what it looks like? Not particularly, but you're going to show me anyway. Okay, so ahead. so here comes. Three there things. it is. What do you think? Oh, it's straight. It's well, it's got this little dent right here, right? Needs a top, obviously. But it's got this cool, I don't know. That's the same color interior of Johnny Tran's car. Oh, it is? Interesting. Oh, yeah. Interesting, interesting. And the place that, that, that rat place is up in Arcadia, so it can be done. Well, good to know. All right, dude. Well, I appreciate the info. I will keep you posted. Thanks, though, dude. All right, man. Anytime. All right. I'll catch you later. We'll see you. Bye. It's going to be crazy expensive. Yeah. It's going to be not easy to get the parts, yeah. for sure, but right. he says they're available. I mean, yeah. the wheels, though, right? You know how that's going. With it seems, like, for those it seems like the wheels have been kicking wheels. Up, but We can't find you wheels. Know, I know. There is another YouTuber doing a Veilside RX-7, mm -hmm. and that's fully available. Okay. So this is a much newer model car than an FD RX-7. But you know what is available? Tools to gut it. Oh and make it into a grip monster. <laughs> Do we just restore this car? 90,000 mile documented, 90,000 mile car. Of course. Oh, all the VIN tags are there. All the VIN tags are there. It's Such obviously a big gonna deal. Need paint work. You know, put new headlights on it. These are still available, I understand. I Actually, think so. Yeah. I have new headlights, new taillights, new windshield moldings. Oh, well, I already bought everything new. Just because I didn't know if it was going to be obsolete soon. Good a idea. lot of money to restore yeah. this car to its former beauty. Yeah. It would so? be so much cheaper to go my route and just gut it. And but it has 10 <laughs> bins. It's, now it's that's the part that bins. sucks. Like I didn't want to see that it had 10 bins. I'd feel way better to do whatever with it. Original if it wheels. Didn't. But you're going to have to repaint it. 
And if you color change it, then your value's gone anyway. What oh, year's yours? Oh, five, same as this. Wow, okay. Yeah. I'm not a big yellow car fan, although. Minus X. You know, that's my favorite color for a Hakko. <laughs> I do like it in the S2000. Yes. That color is the same color that was on your NSX, your yellow NSX, right? Spa yellow. I had oh, spa, yeah, yellow. spa yellow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's similar. All right, guys, so let us know what you think we should be doing on this S2000. Should we turn it into the Johnny Tran car, the pink Suki, the grip monster, as James calls it, or the factory restoration and just bring it back to life so it can live again as a stock 10 VIN matching S2000? Drop a comment below. We'll be sure to read it and stay tuned for the next video. You know, I just polish a headlight so I could sit on it. My fat and, ass and looking is at this, though, honestly, it almost makes me want to just restore it and have it as a nice S2000 because I, I still like these cars. Yeah, it could definitely go you that way. You still have yours, right? I do. I do. It's so boring, just stock, though. It's so boring. That's so not boring. true. It it's is. So no boring. way. That close ratio up. transmission. You got to roll your, roll your eyes up. It's so, so boring. boring. Why is it boring? Because it doesn't make enough noise, you don't get the VTEC pop, and it just doesn't look as cool. What do you mean it doesn't get a VTEC pop? You don't get the VTEC pop when it's fully This started. is oh. Sparta! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <laughs> mine was so good with just the, te the Tanabi exhaust mm -hmm. and the k &N. What did you have on yours, Tanabi? Just, yeah, Tanabi catback and a short ram intake. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. These things Dude. come to life with an intake yeah. and exhaust. Yeah, yeah. You put a header on it, it's not making much more power, but yeah, I think it's just, true. you know, better, better flow characteristic. Yeah. If Where are you, you going? what are you doing? What the f is he doing? Are you going to break out into song and dance? Oh, oh I was laughing. <laughs> I was like, what the f is he doing? I wonder what a goldfish thinks about. Probably Next fish flakes. Get that food. See? Fish flakes. Fish flakes. Fish flakes. Yeah. Well, I wonder if, I mean, I wonder if it looks, if they look at other goldfish and go, hmm. No, I, I don't think they're doing. on that depth of knowledge or, you know, cognitive ability. Yeah, yeah, they're just not there. They probably just go. <laughs> <laughs> they just kind of look. You don't think they look at the other They goldfish? just kind of look through you, you know? You don't think they look at the other fishies yeah. and go, I wonder they, what that they fish They do, is but they're not like the school of fish that are like, pearl, 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 and all like, you know, you know, Instinct. locked into one. Yeah. They're not like that. They're just like. That's funny. The real question mm -hmm. is: Do crabs think that fish fly? Yeah. Oh wow. They have no idea. This, this is true. That's mm. a really good point. Yeah.